Meet Dave. Dave works for a company whose success is dependent on its ability to offer new and exciting products to its online customers, faster than its competitors. Dave is a developer who writes code for new products, new features, security updates, and bug fixes. Unfortunately, Dave needs to wait weeks for his work to be placed into production. This delay increases the pressure of staying competitive because some competitors are able to deploy new products and features much faster. In addition, this delay makes it very challenging for Dave to manage both the code that is pending to be pushed into production and the development of the next feature that he is responsible for producing. When Dave's code is finally deployed into the production environment, occasionally unforeseen errors or problems occur. This mostly happens because Dave is focused on writing code for his development environment, and it's not identical to the production environment. Meet Dave's coworker Anna. Anna is a system administrator from the operations team. She is responsible for maintaining and assuring the uptime of the production environment. The number of servers that she needs to administer is constantly growing because her company continues to launch new products and customers are consuming more of their services. This increase of servers has caused some challenges for Anna. The tools that she used to administer a few servers are not as effective when used to administer a much larger volume of servers. This challenge affects how new code is deployed in her production environment. Usually when new code is released, it takes a little massaging to fit into the production environment. This is why she requires code deployments to be scheduled and are only allowed once a month. Once new code is actually deployed, it's her responsibility to diagnose any errors or problems caused by these changes. Sometimes Anna feels as though the developers have tossed their work over the wall to her and her team. So, what can be done to help Dave and Anna work better? Ultimately, they want the same thing, happy customers. What if Dave the developer and Anna from operations worked better together, thought more alike, broke down silos, shared responsibilities? This would require them to change their mindset on how dev and ops work. So what is DevOps? DevOps integrates developers and operations teams in order to improve collaboration and productivity by automating infrastructure, automating workflows, and by continuously measuring application performance. If Anna and Dave's teams were more DevOps oriented, they would do a few things differently. They would place more focus on automation. DevOps teams try to automate everything, from testing of new code to how infrastructure is provisioned. They would write software in small chunks that are integrated, tested, monitored, and deployed, usually in hours, versus the traditional way of writing large chunks of software over weeks or months, and then do weeks or months of testing. Plus, they will have identical development and production environments based on the same configurations. Writing small chunks of code will allow them to increase the frequency of deployments and improve the time to deploy new code. It also enables them to adopt an iterative process to monitor, measure, and improve the code and operations every day. Improve their ability to respond to market needs or other things that impact software. Instead of building and configuring software plus infrastructure manually on an ad hoc basis, Anna and Dave's teams would write configuration management code that describes how things should be built. As a result, they will have the ability to build infrastructure at scale to dozens, hundreds, or even thousands of servers in multiple locations using different types of hardware. Another change that a DevOps-oriented team would do is to use a source control system to help manage track and document all of the changes to both the application code and configuration management code. The change that Anna and Dave would implement is to adopt a discipline of application performance monitoring and optimization in almost real time. This will allow Dave and the rest of his developers to understand the performance impact of their changes. The ultimate goal is to have a production environment that gives their customers a great experience. So what benefit does having a DevOps oriented team give Anna and Dave's company? Well, it allows them to increase the rate of software delivery and improves the company's time to market, potentially from months and weeks to days and hours. This will be a huge competitive advantage. It also allows them to maintain better business focus by automating their infrastructure so that they can focus on things that improve the business and their online content. They will spend more time on these activities that add more value to their organizations. 
When a company is able to build and offer better products, this means they have happier customers and happier developers. How does a DevOps-oriented team actually accomplish this? Well, as mentioned before, there needs to be a change in the mindset of the two groups that need to work closer together. The other component to the formula is getting the right tools. New tools are needed in this fast-paced world. They will need a tool that allows them to build and test code continuously. An example of this is Jenkins. They will need a tool for source control, such as GitHub. This will allow them to manage, track, and document all the changes to their application code and their configuration management code. They will need tools for configuration management, such as Chef, Puppet, and SaltStack. These tools will allow them to deploy applications in an automated fashion, maybe across hundreds or thousands of servers in different locations. They will also need new tools that allow them to continuously measure the performance of their environment and application. Generating, reading, and analyzing system logs is extremely helpful to monitor an environment. But now that many environments have hundreds or thousands of servers, new tools like New Relic are required to make sense of all this data. This will allow them to know how the entire application is performing and help them identify bottlenecks. But many companies don't know how to use these tools or do not have the skills to automate software delivery process. This is where Rackspace DevOps Automation Service can help. In conclusion, DevOps is a new philosophy that can help software organizations innovate faster and be more responsive to business needs. It promotes collaboration between developers and operations which improves quality of software development and more frequent software releases. Adopting the DevOps philosophy requires a new mindset, new tools, and new skills.